Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a album review and I finally got my hair cleaned up, just so you know. Um, this is for Primal Fear's new album, Code Red, that I got a chance to check out for myself to see what I was going to think of it, because I've never listened to their music, to be honest, but I'm giving it a shot and seeing what I think of it. So, basically, I'm going to discuss what I listened to for Primal Fear's new album, Code Red. Uh, and let you know my thoughts on this album overall. It did come out today, I just didn't get around to the review till now because I've been so busy with chores and all that a little bit today. Still got to do more chores, but that's something to be done during uh, the weekend mostly. So let's dive into this uh, Primal Fear Code Red album review. Now it starts with another hero, and I really do like the lead singer's vocals, which let me know in the comment section below what his um, name is, because I'm still new to this band, like I said, so, and sorry about the background noise, my nephew's uh, just playing around mostly, uh, he's in a playful mood. Um, Another Hero is going to get a 5 out of 5. I really enjoyed the chorus and how the lead singer's vocals sounded. It sounded really good in my opinion. And the verses, it, it was good. But the track was really good. And I really, that chorus is where I really felt for it. In a good way possible. So 5 out of 5. Bring That Noise is a solid track. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it at first. But it tended to grow on me a little bit. I wouldn't say it's my favorite song, or uh, but it's pretty solid for what it goes for. So 4.5 out of 5. Sorry about the background noise. They're in a playful mood. My sister and my nephew are just uh, basically, yeah. <laughs> uh, my nephew's just in a playful mood, and my sister's spending time with them because that's her son of course so basically 4.5 out of 5 for bring that noise deep in the night is a solid one too i don't hate this track for what it goes for um it's over five and a half minutes but it does a pretty solid job it's good in its own way so the lead singer's vocal sounded good at times but some of the guitar riffs and drum work is pretty solid so 4.5 out of 5 Cancel Culture, which I think we know what this song is going to be about. It's more of a political one at times. It's kind of in your face a bit. But I think with how it sounded instrumentally, it is not too terrible. I actually really dig the track. I mean, lyrically it's fine for me because I'm more towards the left. But that is my personal choice. Um, because I can understand what the lyrics are saying to me, but everyone has their own personal political preferences and opinions on what they think of certain political sides, so. Uh, basically, this track is really good, in my opinion, with how it sounded, so 5 out of 5 for this one. Didn't hate it, just instrumentally it was great, and the lead singer's vocals sounded pretty good. The song definitely rocked. Uh, the next track is Play a Song, and that's a pretty strong, pretty solid track, I meant to say. Almost said strong. Um, I think some of the chorus is a little eh, and I think it does repeat a repetitive cycle with verse, chorus, verse, chorus. That sounds a little samey at times, but I think it's trying to be entertaining for what it's going for. So, if I'd give this one a 4.5 out of 5, The World is on Fire is a pretty solid track. Don't hate it for what it goes for. I just like certain aspects in the track, uh, like the drum work and guitar work is pretty good. It is a little 5 minutes in a second, so it's not very long, but it gets the job done at times. So, 4.5 out of 5. Their Gods Have Failed is a seven, almost seven and a half minute song, but it is a rockish track. It does rock for sure. The lead singer's vocals sound really good in my opinion, and just the guitar work and drum work is what blew me away with this track. I really dig this song for sure for the runtime it went for. It was a long song, keep in mind, but it did do pretty good in my opinion. Five out of five. Steel Melter. Is a solid track. I don't know if I like this one. It's probably one of the least favorites in my opinion. But I think it 
got the job done for what it was going for at times, and then there were some weak points in the track. So, 4.5 out of 5. Rage by Pain is a pretty rockish track, um, meaning it rocks for sure. Uh, it's a banger. Um, the drum work and guitar works pretty fast pace, and I really dig uh, the chorus mostly from the lead singer's vocals and just how it sounds overall. This track can uh, is very entertaining and a really heavy track, so 5 out of 5. Forever is a solid track. I think this one's a little repetitive with how it repeats the same chorus and it drags it out a little a bit too much and I think it's solid I just don't think it's my favorite track uh, this is w the only song I had a slight issue with but I think it's a good track it's just not anything that I'm crazy for coming back to so 4.5 out of 5 and then comes the final track Fearless pretty rocking track to close out this album really like this song and the lead singers vocals and the guitar work and drum work sound really good so i really like this track a lot it's a great closing track to end this album so five out of five overall production mixing and execution wise i think primal fears newest album code red sorry about the ding that's my phone um was a pretty good album um i didn't happen to find at least five songs i really was entertained with with this album and the other tracks were solid and hit or miss at times but i think with what this band was trying to do with this album they perfected it in a good way so with what they were trying to go for i mean cancel culture may not be everyone's cup of tea kind of song because of what it talks about in the track because i think you kind of know where that song's going but political politically speaking but i don't really want to get into politics in this review i i can feel for the track because of the lyrics but that's just me but everyone has their own opinion when it comes to that kind of topic in politics so that's something to let let rest let, let it rest mostly so if i were to give this album a score i'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 pretty good album highly recommend you check this album out by primal fear um, in my personal opinion, but everyone has their own taste in music. It just depends. If you like it, that's great. If you don't, that's fine. There's always something else to look into. Uh, so, 8.5 out of 10 for Primal Fear Code Red, in my opinion. Thank you guys for watching this album review.